Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. I got another package in here for you. As you can see, there is a uh, folded piece of, of uh, fabric here. It says something about uh, the size limitations. Obviously this is something that can be unfolded to a rather large size so they had to fold it and it gives you some instructions on how to uh, take out creases and things like that as well as asking for a good rating if we like it and so we'll find out if we like it here in a little bit um, I'm not going to unroll it all the way this looks like uh, the way they folded it was lengthwise but as you can see right here it is a printed section and uh, I got this for our recordings this is going to be a new backdrop for us so uh, right now, right offhand, what I'll say is it, it is it's kind of a, a canvasy type feel material. It's very stiff. Definitely, if you want to check that out and kind of see more, more uh, information about this that I may have missed, uh, go down there in the description below. There will, of course, be a link to this on the Amazon website. And of course, you know, while you're down there, go ahead and check out our social media and, uh, you know, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. Now, this is, uh, he said it's textured on the back here, kind of has kind of a canvasy type feeling. And then on the front, it definitely has like a printed feeling. Um, it's, it's more, uh, I want to say kind of plasticky feeling so now of course this isn't something that you're going to be putting against your skin too much or anything like that uh, because this is supposed to be a background now the size that i got here is a five by seven so you know there there were multiple sizes i could get uh smaller ones i think down to something like a two by three or something like that which is actually pretty small um, especially for some kind of a background like this uh, and then you could get ones that were a bit bigger. I think they had like maybe 8x10s or maybe even something a little bit larger. Since, uh, since this is pretty basic laying here on the table, we'll go ahead and cut away. We'll come right back and uh, we'll take a look at this, see what it looks like when it's up on the wall. Well, here it is, everybody. Now, um, just going to say straight off here, uh, I have my my uh, lens on autofocus and it's a little bit slow so sorry about the uh, in and out focusing but uh, there you go this is what it looks like up on the wall uh, you'll of course see the creases in it a little bit um, there's this one like right here that you can see and then there's a little bit of one coming across right here um, those of course are being from having it folded up in the package we'll go ahead and leave it lay out for a little while and if those don't uh, get the creases out we'll go ahead and take some further steps to try and even that out but as you can see this is uh has the wood floor there at the bottom and then it goes up into a brick wall and i'm looking at this uh in real life as well as uh on the camera screen here and i think it looks pretty sharp uh it's very clear the the lens I'm using right now obviously is is fairly tight. Uh, it it doesn't uh, it doesn't um, pan out real real wide from where I'm at. But uh, for like photography and stuff like that, if you're doing this for a studio, this is definitely something that's big enough and nice enough that you could definitely do with uh, two and possibly even three people, as long as they're not spread out too much. Um, now I'll show you here on the sides. We'll uh, pan over a little bit, and there you can see uh, the plain wall that we have it up against, and uh, that's just a basic kind of a beige, off-white, eggshell-ish type color, and uh, so that's usually what you would see if you see the back wall instead of the table. And so you know we've got this. It goes up quite a ways and uh, as you can see it does it does keep its its coloring and its uh, its definition here pretty much all the way around there uh, as you get up into some of the upper upper area here the bricks do of course get darker as you can see up in here uh, and and that's just giving it some of that different texture when you're looking over here that's supposed to be where most of the light is of course shown so uh, you know it's going to be the brightest spot 
on the uh, on the background and there you've got the wood floor and you know that's not real far uh, it's just just a sh short section there I think it's only about um, a foot and a half maybe two feet roughly so you know you've got kind of that look to it uh, it can be bent in when you have it on uh, when you have it on a stand or something like that or if you actually do attach it to something that's holding it against the wall um, it can of course be on the ground a little bit and gives it a little bit more of that feeling that you're looking at a uh, a wooden floor and that uh, the people you're taking a picture of would be standing on that wooden floor so anyhow right now I am definitely uh, impressed I definitely like this uh, we'll go ahead and keep that and uh, use it in some of the some of the other videos again with some of those ones maybe that uh, those videos that uh, will will have a little bit more of a full body view and a larger view and larger larger things to uh, to show off and everything that can't be focused on on just the table here. My name is Cougar. This has been another episode from the World of Me and the Amazon Review Series. Don't forget to check the link for this down in the description below. Also, while you're down there, go ahead and hit our social media sites. Hit that thumbs up button. And uh, hit that subscribe button, which there should be a little icon floating around right over here. And, you know, make sure you got that little bell icon set up so that uh, notifications let you know when we got new videos coming out. Alright guys, I will see you later, and have a good day. Bye!